Hello, my name is Colin Birchall. I'm a director of Rapid Technologies. You can find us at www.rapid.co.uk. I'd like to welcome you to one of our video blogs where we give you tips and tricks about how to get the most from your smart board. Today I'm using a smart board 8084, 84 inch uh, LCD panel. And what I want to show you specifically is how there's been changes within Smart Meeting Pro 4.1 and Smart Ink version 3, which are the latest versions of the software, and how they can integrate with something like Adobe Acrobat. Uh, so specifically what I want to talk about is how we might mark up documents in Adobe Acrobat and the improvements that Smart have made in that area. So you'll see on your main screen right now that I'm actually currently running a, an Adobe Acrobat application, and I've just got an Adobe Acrobat file on there. And if I pick up a pen, you'll see that our new Smart Ink 3.0 pen features pop up and um, the new features that you might not be familiar with is you've obviously still got all the black, red, green, blue palettes that are available to you but now you have an additional palette here which allows you to range through the palette wheel and choose a colour that might not be available to you on your pens at the moment. So I've chosen purple there for instance, um, if I add that to our pens you'll see purple and if I was to pick up my pen and now and then make an annotation directly onto the screen you'll see that I've actually made a purple annotation. They've also made similar arrangements around the highlighter pens. So now I've got uh, yellow and green, but I've also added, they've added blue. So if I make an annotation over a PDF or a document, you'll see that it'll change the color there. And again, I can go to our wheel and maybe go to a highlighter that I don't currently have. So maybe like an orange, so I'll choose orange here and you'll see that I'm highlighting it in orange. So there, there's some really nice new features that are available to uh, users who are familiar with the Smart Ink application. In addition to um, these these items, we've now got a new item on our, on our um, Smart Ink uh, version 3 wheel. So in addition to our text recognition option and our capture option, we also now have a document tagging option which becomes available when you're using Adobe Acrobat. So what the, the tagging option allows us to do is add annotations to our documents but in addition to adding annotations it allows us to tag it with the name of the annotator but also date and time stamp it and add additional notes. So what I'm going to do on this occasion you'll see that we've got um, a review list of different people who review it. So we've got Mark the CEO who's names on there, Dave Operations and Graham Projects, but I can see my name's not on there, so I want to add my name to the list of people who might want to annotate onto the documents. So it's very easy, very intuitive. I just press the plus sign, and if I just put my name here, which is Colin, and I'll put down that I'm in the sales division of the business. So what this allows me to do, if I've um, taken, left this document out for different people to review, it actually shows which departments that document's gone through. So it sees that it's been approved by the CEO, it's been approved by projects, it's been approved by people in process, by people in sales. So different people have had input into the document and that can be quite useful as well. So what I'm going to do right now is, like I said, I'm going to add my name on there. So you'll see Colin's been added to the list. And now when I make an annotation over a document, you'll see that I've made an annotation with, a, with my orange pen. And here we can actually see a little yellow uh, stamp to say that this document has been tagged. So if I was to put my pen down there and actually tap the tag, it actually tells me that Colin made this annotation at the on the 2nd of December 2015 and he's in sales and the date and timestamp that he did that. In addition to that, he could actually go in and make some additional changes. So what I'm going to do is just double tap this dialog box, bring up my keyboard and what I'm going to put in there is uh, please change just to show that I've reviewed it and I want someone in another department to change it. So I've typed in please change. You can see that's uh, been added on there. What I'll do, I'll just add an either just to uh, make sure that's correct. Please change, press return, and then my notes have been added onto that particular annotation. So if I go back to that annotation later date, you'll see Holland Sales reviewed it and he's asked for a change to be made in that particular document. If this was a, an Adobe drawing in a, a, a plans or it was a, a site drawing or whatever, you can imagine how useful this would be to the, the end user to be able to see who's annotated, when they annotated and what they've asked for. So this will improve communication vastly throughout your business. In addition to that, when we made our annotations, if we made a mistake, we can simply pick up the eraser to rub out any mistakes that we made 
Or, as you know, with using Smart, you can use your fist because it recognises your fist as an eraser on the screen. You'll notice that other annotations on the screen there have got also got notes. They've been made by Graham Projects because I was logged in as Graham when I made those. So you can see when they were made and exactly when they were, exactly when they were made. In addition to this now, what I can also do is actually save these annotations directly to the Adobe Acrobat PDF documents and then come back at a later date. So it's not just an overlay or an add-on when you're in a smart board session. It means that you can add annotations to a document and come back and review over a project period or over a period of time. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to save this document. I'm going to say, uh, just click on save. Save it as 8105. I'll write over what I'm doing and I'll say yes. And then if I close down my Adobe Acrobat application and then go to open Adobe up at a later date. So I'm just going to go into all apps and just to show you now that there is now Windows 10 support if you're a Meeting Pro 4.1 user, which is great news. So if I go into Adobe Reader, go to our 8105 document. If I scroll down our document, you'll see the annotations that we made earlier. And it actually tells me Graham made that one and Colin made this one. I hope you found the tips and tricks or this blog very useful to you. Uh, you'll find out more, you can find more information on our website on www.rapid.co.uk. I thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and we'll see you in our next blog. Thank you.